Welcome to my dining room. So I spend a lot of time sitting right here. I have breakfast here almost every morning. Sometimes I eat lunch here and usually dinner. So as I'm sitting here, I'm looking this direction right here. So I watch quite a bit of TV when I'm eating, usually the news or something like that. But I also look at this painting right here. Now I painted this in February of 2017. So it's been hanging right here for about two years now. And I actually painted it in a few hours with oil paint. So my intention was, was to come back the next day and do a whole bunch more detail to it. But I got distracted, I ended up doing other things, so I never came back and added anything else to the painting. So it's basically an unfinished painting that at this point, I'm just gonna say it's finished because I don't think I'll ever go back and do anything else to it. And I like it just the way it is. So right now it's mounted to a piece of plywood, which is the way that I like to do my oil paintings because I paint the edges of the paintings. So when I mount the canvas to plywood, when I move the wet painting around, I don't have to worry about smudging the paint. So the cabinets around the painting and behind, actually the woodwork behind the painting is actually pine. So it only makes sense that I'm gonna make a pine picture frame for this painting. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna take it out to my work area and see what I can come up with. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut a quarter inch piece of plywood to go around the painting, leaving about a three eighths of an inch gap between the plywood and the painting. Now, what I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna do some sort of like sunburst design. This is a sunset painting, but I was thinking that if I took some pine and I angled the pieces outward all the way around, it would create like a sunburst. And I'm also planning on staining the frame like a golden oak and then sort of a reddish tone, kind of like the sunset up here. I mean, it's, I guess the sunset's more of a, a yellow and an orange, but I figured a golden oak with a red stain every other piece all the way around would almost make it look like, kind of like a sun frame around a sunset painting. 
So anyway, that's the idea. Okay, so it turns out making a sun frame takes a lot of pieces. And it's actually a lot more cutting than I thought it would be before I started. But you know what? After all that rain we had last week, I don't care how many cuts I have to do. As long as I'm thinking of the sun, I'm happy. Did I ever tell you guys about all that rain we had last week? You know what? I shot a little bit of video of it. So let me show you guys that really quick so you can see what I mean. Wow, this rain is just amazing. I haven't seen it rain this hard hardly ever. There's like a river going down the driveway and my umbrella is actually leaking right now. So yeah, this is really something. Um, boy, if there's any leaks, things are definitely gonna leak today. Um, I don't know, I mean, this is really amazing rain here. We need it, so I'm not complaining. It's just, uh, I haven't seen it rain this hard in a long time. So I'm just amazed at this river going down the driveway right here behind me. That is something. Rarely ever have I seen this much of a river going down the driveway. Wow. So yeah, like I was saying, after all that rain, I don't care how many cuts it takes to make this frame. I just wanna think of the sun and be out here enjoying the weather. Even though the sun's actually going down right now, I'm gonna come out here tomorrow. It's supposed to be a really nice day. Even Wooly's really enjoying himself today, just hanging out. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna pack it up for today because it starts getting cold this time of year, right when it gets dark. So anyway, I'll be out here tomorrow and continue on with this.
So that took a lot of cutting, but everything's finally ready to install onto the frame backer board. So there's a couple of different ways I could go about doing this. One of the ways is I could glue each individual piece and then staple it. One of the reasons I'm installing it onto quarter inch plywood is so that I can staple from the back side into the pieces. So if I had a really thick piece of wood, that would be much harder. But with the quarter inch, it's easy for me to staple through the quarter inch into each piece. But rather than staple into each individual piece, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue the entire backer board, or maybe just one row at a time. Glue one row down, and then glue another row down, and glue all four rows down, get everything set in place, and then I can actually staple everything from the back side into the pieces. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. Okay, so all the pieces are glued down. I've got some lead weights on them just to hold everything down real solid while the glue dries. Now, as soon as the glue dries, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna staple everything from underneath. So, um, you know, glue alone is just not good enough to hold this whole thing together long term. So that's why I'm gonna staple everything. Probably use like some five eighths inch staples and do two per piece roughly. So that's the plan.
So did I really say that I was gonna stain every other piece of wood golden oak and every other piece of wood red? I just realized that's gonna be a heck of a lot of work. And I really don't know how accurately I can stain these because stain is really thin. So some of the stain may bleed from one piece to another. Some of these pieces are really tight together. But I said it, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I really don't know if this is gonna work. But if it doesn't work, I may have to just sand it down and just stain the entire thing golden oak. But I'm gonna give it a shot and I guess we'll see how it goes. So I spend a lot of time as I'm eating looking in this direction right here and I've really enjoyed looking at the painting even without the frame over the last couple years since I painted it. Now I realized there were a couple coffee pots up here but I moved those out of the way so you guys could see the painting and the frame together without anything blocking the view but I'm obviously going to have to put those back. So maybe I'll look into seeing if they make really short coffee pots so I can put them up here and they don't block the view of the painting or the frame. But until then, I'll just deal with the ones we've got here. So it's always been my opinion that a frame can add a lot to the overall artistic value of the painting. And sometimes a frame can actually be just as much of a piece of art as the painting itself. So anyway, I did my best on this one. Let me know what you guys think about it and I hope to see you soon.